and welcome to the Shaken Up Show, Playing Away, Episode 3. Hang on, one minute. That's better. Welcome to the Shaking Up Show, Playing Away, Episode 3. This week's guest is Dan Hayden from Squires Gate. He is the social media manager and commercial manager over there, and he's going to give us the lowdown on what we can expect on our second trip up to the coast. We may or may not talk about last season's results. Uh, I'll let Dan decide on that, but um, let's get on with it. Uh, hi, Dan. How are you doing? I'm not too bad yourself. Not so bad, thanks, mate. Um, so, welcome to the show. Thanks for coming on. Um, I'll crack straight into it. Can you um, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about your role up at Squires Gate? Yeah, so I'm Dan. I do commercial and social media for the club. I've been there for about seven years, really. So, I only took over social media about a year ago. So, it's been good so far. Excellent, fantastic. Now, we we've been up to Squires Gate, so we know that you're in Blackpool. Uh, can you, but can you, for the people that haven't been, tell us a little bit more about the club's location and the stadium name? Yeah, so we play at the Brian Anderson Stadium. Um, it's based on School Road. Uh, nice little pub, shovels around the corner. And I believe that's quite a good uh, choice for away fans most of the time and home fans. So yeah, it's always a go-to pub. Fantastic. We love a good uh, we love a good beard it was Berry fans. Um one thing I actually <laughs> don't know is and obviously I know you're called Squire's Gate and I hear you referred to as the gate sometimes, but is that your official nickname? What what is Squire's Gate's nickname? Yeah, I'd say it's the gate, really. Uh up the gate. We don't really have another nickname, I don't think, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Cool, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't and now I know that um, you know you've been around for quite a while as a club. Are there any interesting facts about your club? Any standout players that have gone on to do great things, or any funny facts that people would find interesting? It's quite a few about the club. Really, it's got quite a bit of history. Um, well, we played them on BBC last year, one five nil. Um, we've had Jack Selby went on to play. He's played the. Northampton Town, I think now. Might be wrong. Not too sure. Josh Kay plays for Barrow. He started off at Squires Gate as well. Um, Brian Addison, who the stadium's named after. He, I think he started at the club as a player about 60 years ago. That's some tenure. Cause he's st- is he still there? He's still there, isn't he? Doing he's the still ground. There, yeah, he's, he's president, club president now with John Maguire, Magsy. He's been at the club quite a long time. He's done pretty much everything. Um, there's quite, there's a fair few that have been there for quite a long time. Uh, when you mentioned it before, I was like, I was listening them in my head and I thought, there's quite a few here, but now I forgot. So, yeah. um, we've had a couple of seasons with interruptions, with the season being curtailed and things being cancelled, but in the last full season that we played, can you tell us a little bit more about where you were, what league you were in, how it was going? Yeah, so we're actually the longest serving Premier Division club, I believe. I think it's 15 years going on this year, so it's been a good run. That season, um, I know we had a bad start. I think we lost a fair few amount of the first games. Um, and then Luke came in in about November. Uh, we were second bottom, bottom maybe. And then we ended up finishing ninth. I think it was ninth, yeah. So yeah, Luke pretty much came in, turned it around, got everyone on board. Fantastic. Think- Fantastic. We've had Luke on. We know that he's a, a sound guy, top manager. Um, I'll move on. This is the one that people are always a bit sceptical about answering. Any players to watch for, for us from your side? Oh, I don't know if Luke will be happy with me discussing this, to be honest. <laughs> Especially when we've not uh, listed our retained players yet, so to speak. Um, you, you don't have to answer, that's fine. I mean, no, we know that you've uh, got... Um, oh, what's Is it Ings? Or Ing? Yeah, Dean Ing, yeah. Yeah. He's got his own... He's got a Twitter page. The, is it the Dean Ing Appreciation Society or yeah, something like that? Yeah. That took off after the BBC game, I think. That's when, that's when the real interest started, really. Um, 
people start to sit up and take notice of Squires Gate a bit, you know. Um, there's a few other players, a couple of wingers that we've got, good players. The whole squad really have got, you know, something about them individually that they can add to the team. Uh, it's hard to just pick a couple of players, really. That's fine. That's cool. No, we're, uh, we're looking forward to the uh, the challenge because I'll, I'll go on to my next question now. We're two clubs that are familiar with ourselves, with each other, after after the game last year. 6-0. <coughs> um, but um, what are your thoughts this time ahead of the game? Um, what sort of game are you expecting? Well, I think like Luke said the last time round, um, I think you came and it was just a bit of, you know, after the second goal went in, it was a bit of a collapse so to speak. Um, I think you had a fair bit about yourself. Came, took the game. Um, I'll move on from that one anyway. So, I've been to the Brian Addison Stadium and I had a thoroughly enjoyable day out, even though it was about minus 12 in December. It was, it was cold that day, yeah. Um, what can our fans expect from a trip to the Brian Addison Stadium? You know, what amenities... Can you recommend a beer, any nice food on, that that sort of thing? I just think coming to Squires Gate, expect a good day out, really, when it when it's hot, but also when it's cold. You know, even though you said it was cold that day, but you still had a good day, it's just one of those places. There's a nice feel about the club, hence why I've been there seven years, you know. It's not one of those clubs that you can go to and... You don't feel like you're not welcome, if that makes sense. No, definitely. From going on, going through that turn, the little turnstile, and the person sat in there was just like, "Hello, how are you doing?" And it, everybody was just so nice. It just seems like a really friendly place yeah. to come to. I think that's what that last week can expect really. Uh, and drink. Well, I can say is drink, drink comes there to you know watch the game, enjoy the game, and we want fans to enjoy it as much as we do really definitely so this is my final question for you um so last last year it was six nil what's your score prediction ahead of the game i'm gonna go four three squires gate and oh. i'm gonna say if we can't if we can't stop you scoring we'll just outscore you so, lots of, lots yeah, of goals. four three Lots of goals for the travelling yeah. fans then. Hopefully. Just hopefully it's for us. Excellent. Right, well, Dan, thank you very much for coming on the show. Um, and I look forward to seeing you on Saturday. Yeah, I'll see you there. So it will be a good game. Thank you very much to Dan from Squiresgate for joining us this week. If you are heading to the game next Saturday, make sure you head over to our website where there'll be an article with all the travel information, nearest pubs, amenities at the ground, uh, everything you could need for the day. While you're there, head over to the club shop. You can pre-order yourself the new away shirt, if that's not your bag. The home shirt is still available. The third kit is available. If you like Greavesy, who's behind me over there, if you want to go and order one of those, I will put the link to card plugs in the description. If you use our code, you will get a discount. It's really cool. You can put your picture on it. You can put your kid's picture on it. You can put Greavesy's picture on it. And, yeah, also make sure you get your season ticket ordered uh, and the Hanley Town and Sandbatch home tickets are now on sale on the website. Links for all that will be in the description. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week. Oh, 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 oh,